Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 12th of May 2023. Holy Spirit, show me what Divine Masculine needs to hear today. Somebody is fleeing the devil. Somebody is starting a new life and walking away from some kind of karmic situation here. Could be with work, could be a relationship, could be with family members. Somebody could be uprooting their life and moving abroad or moving away. The 26th of June could be significant. Somebody could be leaving on the 26th of June. Somebody could be 47 or 26. Between 26 and 47. Or they're born on the 26th. Look, the devil came out again. So there's some kind of connection. Something is binding you to another person. Or this is a message about somebody around you. 26 and 23. There could be two people. One born on the 26th. The other one born on the 23rd. Who are trying to control another person's life. 20 Canotila. Something about this year. 2023. Something is going to happen. Something is going to change in this situation. In this year. And we've got 25. Interesting. I feel like there are three people, maybe even four people, who are watching another person. These could be older people. These could be businesses. These are entities, right? So in legal jargon, an entity is a business. So there could be four different businesses watching somebody. If you have applied for jobs, these could be business owners who are thinking of offering you a job. These could also be former employers or current employers watching you to see what you're up to. 42, the star. You could be in the public eye in some kind of way. And these are your enemies, your competitors. You could be a healer or some kind of celebrity, or you have a strong online presence, and these are other people or other businesses with a strong online presence. These people feel threatened possibly by you. Okay, so let's find out who are all these people. The Siren 10, they're definitely people who are watching. Yes, they're watching. They could be watching your business. They could be watching you online or physically even. If you have advertised your business or anything you're doing online, they're just watching online. But these could be people who are physically coming close to your home or your place of business. If it's a um, 3D business, if it is um, an office. Otherwise, if you work from home, these could be people coming around your home. The Naughty Bridge, 32. These could be people from other countries who are watching you online, though. Somebody could, though, uh, be physically traveling to you. Some of these people could be physically traveling to you or they are talking to people who live around you or work around you to report back to them. 27, Simmer. And two, Prince Charming. The 27th of February, I've seen this date a lot. It could be somebody's birthday. One of these informants could actually be born on the 27th of February. Could be a man, could be a woman, could be a man and a woman. So who is the informant here? Let's see who's your informant. Could be a water sign. Could be somebody who's offering you love. This could be a new love. So you've got all these business owners or family members, whatever they are sending men with fake love offers to spy on you basically so what else is new <laughs> what else is new because we are getting these kinds of messages all the time in the spiritual community so nothing new here so they're trying if if this has to do with business with work with competition these people are trying to make sure that you're focused on love or other things rather than your work sarah 15 There are males and females doing this. So they're sending males and females out to uh, tempt divine feminine, divine masculine away from their life purpose, their business, their union, etc. Something about the 25th of May again. 
something's gonna happen, something's gonna take off, something's gonna move forward. This could also be a union between your and your feminine. So even if people are sending decoys, fake divine masculines and divine feminines, the union's gonna happen anyway between you and this feminine if it hasn't happened already. If you are together with your feminine, then these people are not going to be able to break you up. Somebody could be born on the 26th of January. Somebody could be born on the 7th of July or the 26th of July. There could be an Aquarius and a Leo females who are doing some kind of manipulation here, who are trying to control a situation. There could be free females actually. There are free females. There's a Leo, an Aquarius, and a Cancer. I almost said Pisces, but it's a Cancer. I think there's a Pisces too, though. Yeah. So these females here, they're doing some kind of control tactics here. They could actually be doing spell work, of course. But they're also trying to um, manipulate somebody's feelings. And yes, they could be talking to a man to manipulate your Divine Feminine in order to break you up or to keep you away from her. Eight Mishi Peshu, shapeshifter. Yeah, they're sending somebody who's very two-faced. Somebody who, who could have money. So these women are talking to a man who has a lot of money possibly to tempt your divine feminine away from you. <sighs> yeah, they're talking to a wealthy man. 18th of April, maybe the man's born on the 18th of April. Or somebody born in August. Could be a Leo. Yep. Yeah. These three females are talking to one or two males and asking these males to make you some kind of offer so they can keep you away from your masculine or take you away from your masculine. So there we go. That's the main concern of these people here. Let's see. Was I talking to Divine Feminine again? I probably was. I apologize. Anyway, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. You've got three women or four women who are sending men your way because that's, that's what they've probably been doing for a long time now. So you're probably used to it. I don't know why they keep trying it, but yes, it's true. That's what they're doing. They could be sending an air sign, could be a Libra, or a fire sign, could be a Leo. Somebody could be born on the 20th. We've got the 20th twice here. 27 is here twice. So there could be two men. One's born on the 20th. The other one's born on the 27th. 43, Zayana the fairy. There is a boss. There's a female boss presiding over this um, group. Also, this could be a marriage offer. One of these men could be proposing to a divine feminine. 28, Garuda. And 38, the Empress of the Fairies. So they're trying to make sure that a Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine's relationship is ending or is not coming together at all. And there are two men, that's what I'm getting, two men, because that's what I was saying here too, that I think there are two men, and indeed there are two men sent towards the Divine Feminine in order to um, confuse her about who her Divine Masculine is or what they should be doing in life. And yes, again, the men are an air sign and a fire sign. Could be a Libra and a Leo specifically. Doesn't have to be for everyone. And also one of these men could be born on the 20th, the other one the 27th. Right. 22. Also 22. Look at that. That's the official person card. There's another deck where they have number 22 and it's a guy dressed in a red military suit and it's called official person. So yeah, these men, they have some kind of authority. They are respectable men or they are respected in society. But these men are being sent by a woman 29, the moon. Somebody could be born on the 29th, this female. There could be a female born on the 29th who's also involved in this situation, in this operation. Could be any water sign, an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Hmm. 
So they're trying to turn a divine feminine into a mistress. They want to make her look bad, like a prostitute, like somebody who would do anything for money to be with a rich man. 18, stone fist, 18 again. So we did get 18 earlier. So there's also a ban. A ban. There's a ban. Yeah, he, he should be banned. Or somebody, this could be a man who um, blocked a divine feminine or a man who was blocked by a divine feminine coming into. So there are three men or four even. Or it depends for different people. For some, it's a guy born on the 20th who's an air sign. For others, it's a, a boy. I almost said a boy. Bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> Could be somebody born on the 27th, a fire sign. Somebody born on the 22nd, a cusper. Somebody born on the 18th. So we've got different uh, dudes for, for different tastes here, I guess, and different ages. So take your pick. But all these men are fake. They're being sent by these group of women. 40 and 50 year. Yeah, and some of these men are very powerful, rich. They, yeah, they are attractive to women who are interested in a powerful man who can protect them. Anyway. Hey, Tylene ripped from the sun. Mm hmm and the Prince of Fire. There's a man and a woman who are police officers or they're military or they're lawyers or judges or something of the sort. They could also be secret services. Somebody's trying to have another person arrested. So if they cannot send men their way, to bamboozle them, then they're gonna try to have the person arrested. So they're trying different means. As I was moving through the reading, it's like they were changing their mind about what they're going to do. <laughs> so if they cannot have a man trick you into being with him and letting go of your relationship or your divine masculine, your future union or present union or even a business you could be doing or a job you're doing, they're going to try to have you arrested. So they're going to try different ways. They just want to stop you from being happy, from living your life, from moving forward because they don't have a life themselves. Why would people who have so many different qualities and skills be so focused on messing another person's life instead of focusing on their own life because it looks like there are a lot of people in this particular reading and all of these people have some kind of status some kind of ability okay they're not just idiots so how come they have such idiotic plans that's my question they do not see the forest for the trees. They do not see their life purpose. They, that's, a, that's what I think it is. They don't have a life purpose or they didn't follow the, their life purpose. They followed something that somebody else told, her, told them it's good, is useful, is necessary. So they failed their life. Even though they seem like they are very successful, they have failed at life because they haven't done what they were sent here to do on this planet. Is that it? Is that the problem here? Why are so many people focused on one person, on destroying one person, when all of these people have their own qualities? Nine, Sharnabon, the wizard, and the temple of fire. Possibly because there's somebody who is a chosen one. This guy always makes me think of... Moses with his staff and his magical abilities who Moses was not somebody who had all these special qualities like these characters do he could barely speak to people but he was chosen by God to do a very important business business a very important task on this planet so these people with all their qualities, they cannot understand why one person is chosen to do something that they wish they could do possibly. And um, that's why they're trying to burn everything down for this person. But again, this person is protected from all the chaos and conflict that these people are trying to cause in their life. 
Also, these people are trying to make sure that somebody is very guarded against the union that they might be having. That's why they're sending so many decoys. They're sending so many fakes so that somebody can be confused about who's good and who's bad for them. Who's the right person or who's the right opportunity for them. Or what is the right opportunity for them. They're trying to keep somebody stuck to prevent somebody from actually following their life purpose because these people, they are not really following their true life mission or purpose. And that's that's all I've got here. And we've got the 4th, 4th of April, 4-4. Something's very stable or somebody's very stable. 